Hi everyone, David Jackson here, slingandstonemarketing.com. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to add a domain name to your hosting account so that you can have multiple websites running on one hosting account. Uh, this is going to be using the cPanel through SiteGround Web Hosting. If you do not already have SiteGround Web Hosting and you are looking for a web host provider, I highly recommend SiteGround. Uh, you can use the link below in the description to make sure that you get the best deals that they have going on at the current moment. Uh, full disclosure, I am an affiliate and I will get a commission should you choose to purchase any web hosting using that link. So most of you will be on a shared hosting plan. Uh, for SiteGround, you have the Startup, the Grow Big, and the Go Geek plans. Uh, but you can only use an add-on domain name for the Grow Big and the Go Geek plans. Those allow you to have multiple websites, whereas the Startup plan only allows you to have one website or one domain name. So the first thing we are going to do is sign into our SiteGround account, and that will bring us to the home page on the My Accounts tab. And then we're going to go down to where it says go to cPanel and click on that. And then we're going to go down to where it says add on domains and click on that. So this page is where we are going to put in the domain name that we want to add on. So if I come down here and I put in mymarketingwebsite.com and then I hit tab it fills in the FTP username and the document root path. Then I am going to give it a password. So I'll click on password generator. If you already have a password that you want to use, you can use that instead of generating a password. But if you generate a password, you want to make sure that you have copied this password down to a secure location. Then click on use password. Whatever password you use, you want to make sure that it is very strong, a 100 out of 100. Then you're going to click on Add Domain. And as you can see, the add-on domain MyMarketingWebsite.com has been created, along with an FTP account for My Marketing Website as the username. Then just going to go ahead and click on Go Back. And now we are back on the add-on domains page. And if I scroll down, we can see that MyMarketingWebsite.com has been added as a domain. And it also shows the path to the directory that it created, which the domain will point to. Now, I want to just take a second and go over a couple of things if you do not have a domain name registered with SiteGround. So if your add-on domain is registered with another company such as GoDaddy or HostGator or Bluehost or any other company that registers domain names, then there is an extra step that you need to take uh, in order for your domain name to point to your SiteGround web hosting account. So in order to find the information that you need to update the name servers with the other company, what you're going to do is come up here and go to the My Accounts tab and click on that. And that will bring us to the account page. And you want to make sure that you are on the Information and Settings tab. And what you're looking for is where it says Account DNS. Those two URLs are what you need to update the domain name servers with the company that is holding your domain name registration. That will then point your domain name to the SiteGround web hosting service. And once you update the name servers, it may take anywhere from a couple of hours to one or two days for it to propagate amongst its network so that your domain name will then point to the SiteGround hosting. Once that is completed, now you have an add-on domain name and you can build a website for that domain. So you can go to your cPanel home and let's say if you want to install WordPress on that new domain name, you go down here to WordPress and click on that. 
then you will come down and click on install now. Then you can choose the protocol It's HTTPS if you have a secured website and you can choose the domain, which would be right here, mymarketingwebsite.com. And as you can see, it's given me a warning message saying that there is no SSL certificate found uh, because I have not set up one for this domain name. I have another video where I go step by step through how to set up an SSL certificate for a domain name so that your website will have a secured connection and you can use the HTTPS protocol. But if you do not have an SSL certificate for your domain name, then you would just choose the HTTP protocol. Then you would just go through the different options for your WordPress install and you'll come down here at the bottom and click install. And that is how you add an add-on domain to your hosting account so that you can run multiple websites. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. It will give me an opportunity to help others. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button and make sure that you turn on the notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you have any questions, comments, or topics that you want me to cover in future videos, be sure to leave them below in the comments section. If you followed along with this video and created an add-on domain name for your hosting account, use the hashtag GiantSlayer in the comments below. It will let me and others know that you conquered this giant obstacle that was standing in your way from making progress. I thank you for taking your time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.